Hello everybody, my name is John T. Tan and I'm thrilled to be sharing with you a little bit about my new book, The Local Immigrant. Over the past two years I have been blown away by your interest in and your comments on my story as a third culture kid and a returning son of Singapore. In this book I share the internal struggles of childhood growing up in a brand new culture and also the tension of returning home yet still feeling so foreign. I'm also looking forward to meeting many of you at one of the book launch events, the details of which are below, or you can find by scanning this QR code now. We'll see you soon. Join us, Millie, Junty, and our kids as we find the extraordinary wonder in our ordinary lives. Welcome to Wonderlust. to Bisham Fire Station today. Um, we're really excited to be here. It's been closed for visits for two years. I know. With all of the COVID restrictions and everything, uh, lifting is great to be able to come. Today is the first day it's open. We were here back in 2015 when the kids were tiny. They were pretty round. Um, and um, But today's going to be an amazing day. We're looking forward to seeing what they've got here, having a refresh of what we learned last time. And the kids are all hatted up with their fire hats and they're ready to go. Firefighters were all ready to share their expertise, which helped to keep everyone engaged while queuing up for the activities on offer. Next up, it was Aspen's go, and after her safety briefing, she was ready to fight some fires too. Just saying you're about to head off somewhere else. Where are you? Where are you going? Uh, so we're actually going off to the Fire Fire Post. So okay. Bishan Fire Station, uh, we serve the Bishan and Fire residents. So in order to meet the eight minutes response zone, right? So okay. we need to have like another base at the somewhere fire. else. Yeah, okay. so they can reach faster. I love that this is all working things that the children can go on. All right. They're having such a good time. Yeah, I mean like you don't get to see, you don't get to feel this type of like vehicles elsewhere. Like yeah. you have to come to the fire station. Like back then, like, I, I did get a chance to go to the fire station. Sure. Thank you. All right. As the firefighter is saying, all of these vehicles are working vehicles. So he's just heading off now with a small team to Topayo. Um, they have an eight minute response time. So they've got to make sure that they're dotted all over different places of the country. And so they're off to Topayo just to make sure they're close to whatever they might need to do over there today. I love the fact that these are real working vehicles that the kids get to experience and real firefighters who are currently working at the moment and I think it's amazing to be able to show the children what is possible, what their jobs are like and um, just to experience it a little bit, it's awesome. While some of the vehicles were manned, some were just open for the public to enjoy and explore and our kids loved the chance to press buttons and flip switches. Just one short horn. Good girl. <laughs> 
So there's a few different stations set up. You can have a go at rolling the hose up, like you saw with the water. You can spray the water. You can go inside the vehicles. You can touch the buttons. You can ask questions to the firefighters here, which is really awesome. There's a really nice sort of buzz around here. People are just, just, just kind of how things were, I guess, before the COVID regulations kind of came into place. Things have lifted now, so we can um, keep our masks off outside. There's no social distancing. But I think people are still being respectful, but it's really nice being around here and just seeing everything that goes on at the fire stations. It's not harder than it looks, I already thought it looked hard. <laughs> the firefighters have just been called to an emergency, so they're just clearing out the way and they're all getting ready to go. It was amazing to see how quickly they responded, and they have cleared the way and then they're off. So let's hope that everybody's safe, and it's amazing to see uh, how these guys are so fast and in getting into action. Let's hope that everything that Milo and Aspen did in there um, hasn't slowed down this whole process. So yeah, the fire and rescue truck has um, just gone out and then everybody is just kind of, yeah, carrying on. So like we said, this is a working fire station. So as they're off to work, yeah, we're gonna carry on looking around um, and checking out what the rest of everybody does here. One of the things that was really cool last time is that my sister and my brother-in-law got to go in the ladder at the top of the uh, fire engine. There was like a, um, I guess like a basket at the end that they could sit in and they're lifting up really, really high. And um, they're not doing that today. The kids are going to get to go inside the engine, which is pretty cool too. One of the amazing things about being here this morning is that it just feels like a festival. Everyone's around having a great time. You can hear loads of voices, there's lots of people, which is fantastic. Aspen and I are inside the back of a fire station. There's four seats, we can see oxygen tanks, there's a megaphone, there's helmets in here, there's big, big chairs that don't have any backs in them. I guess if the firefighters are wearing an oxygen tank, that's where it would need to be. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool in here, there's lots going on and Lots of little switches that I think every kid here just wants to go and touch. This guy has just been uh, getting dressed into all of his gear as quickly as possible. They're just saying how they have to practice taking it all off, putting it all back on as quickly as they can. I think our kids should try that just for getting ready in the morning. One minute. One minute. That means I have to be in the bed sleeping. If, if the call comes in like just now, I have to run down the stairs and go out within one minute. Do you think you can do that? No, no more this. We don't have this anymore. Oh, you don't That's use it. it anymore? No, we don't. How it's come? The commission. There are too many injuries associated with it. Wow. Yeah, really, really a lot of injuries. Last time we were here in 2015, uh, yes. there was a call. Yeah. And they, we, all, they all came yeah. down. Yeah, yeah. So, so when did it come out um, of use? 2018, 2019, thereabouts. Wow. Yeah. Very shame. I used to like using this as well. But even I myself got injured doing this. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it's your fault? No, I'm not, I'm not, yeah, definitely my fault. So I, I was groggy when I woke up. I, okay, go. There's a call. Run down. Yeah, I sprained my ankle and I got a cut on my. Oh, on my eyelid, yeah. That's not good. Here you have a real firefighting coat. Real firefighting boots right here. This is a helmet and goggles. And right here is a real firefighting hat.
As Millie mentioned earlier, this is something that's happening every single week now. Fire, in, fire stations across uh, the whole of Singapore are being opened up for you to be able to come and bring your children and let them check it all out, which is amazing. The central fire station also has a museum attached to it, which will be amazing to check out. Unfortunately, it was fully booked for us this weekend, but we're definitely gonna check it out some other time. I would fully recommend coming down and checking it out. For me, as a big kid, I've had an amazing day too. wanted another go with the water hose before we left which is great the staff here are brilliant there's lots of young men that also do their national service here at the fire station so yeah thanks for just opening up the fire station to let kids and us grown-ups come and have a little look at what they do and we got to see it firsthand today which was pretty amazing all the people that are helping to keep us people here in Singapore safe so yeah thank you for being so friendly and so welcoming to the kids and families and answering all of the kids questions has just been really great as well uh, how has it been today oh, it's been busy man very stressful or has it been fun uh i say a mixture of both yeah yeah stressful because uh when we saw the queue it was quite long yeah it was, long, yeah, it was right? very long and so, so this is happening every week now uh i hope it won't like be this like this every week yeah yeah but it'll be open days every week yeah yeah uh, we are open every saturday okay 9 to 11. Amazing. We had a great time. Yeah. We're very grateful for you. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you for coming. We've just had a wonderful morning. It's time to go now. Um, and we're going to go and I think there's a play park opposite the kids are going to play and it's rammed probably with loads of kids. Yeah. And then we're off to Shinfu probably to have some lunch. Yep. Yeah. yeah, really lovely time. Like I said, everyone here is really friendly and um, yeah. I can't believe how accommodating all of the firefighters are. Just now our kids were trying to climb a ladder on the back of a fire truck and um, the guy came over and was like, yeah, don't worry, it's quite high. And then he lowered it down for them to be able to have a go. Yeah. And now there's a queue of kids trying to get onto that ladder. But it's just awesome. Um, the guy on the hose, Milo's soaked in like, his glasses, like he's a little, a little white. But it's been really, really fun coming out here. And after two years, um, of this not being open, um, yeah, I think it's really good to just kind of keep going. Yeah, keep moving forward. encourage the firefighters as well. They're all amazing and we love what they do for the nation. It's yeah. awesome. So thanks for watching. You can find out more information below or you can find their Instagram, which we'll put information down as well so you can find out times and what's going on. So thanks for watching. Bye.